Sales training has a reputation for low ROI and for good reason. New clinical studies reveal that for 60 years the sales training industry has been misguided about how adults really learn. It's a game-changing revelation with jaw-dropping implications for every business. In 2011, the Royal Society published an article entitled Neuroscience – Implications for Education and Lifelong Learning. Its findings reveal that when the brain is stimulated in a training environment, neurons bind to store learning as memories. The brain literally lays down more grey matter volume in the region of the brain reserved for accessing memory and skills. The study showed that the brain functions according to use it or lose it rules. If vocational knowledge and skills are not applied and reinforced, the neurons required to maintain the physical storage move in reverse. Folders are deleted. Learning is lost. It's called neuroplasticity. This finding gives a physical rationale to the often quoted 1979 study by Huthwaite that 87% of workplace uh, learning is lost within 30 days when not reinforced. Ebbinghaus from Germany indicates the forgetting curve may, e may be even more dramatic, with nearly 70% of learning lost by the end of the very day it's delivered. But it turns out that where learners receive spaced refreshers and mini-tests in the first 16 weeks following a training intervention, retention jumps 900%. So why is it that so few training classes are designed this way? Indeed, why do so many focus on cramming as much into a training seminar as possible? It's a design philosophy called massing. It may be efficient, but one has to ask if it's really effective. Thought leaders in this space say categorically no. In psychological science, Cornell and Bjork showed that massing produces a sense of familiarity with new material that seduces learners into thinking they know more than they really do. Psychologists call this a cognitive illusion because in the classroom, surrounded by books and wall charts, people feel comfortable with the knowledge dump they've just received. But after only two days of massing, they only retain 25%. And within a month, it's down to only 13%. There is another problem with the classroom. The very act of walking into a seminar changes the brain's electrical chemistry. So let's examine this interesting thought. Gamma brainwaves are a state of hyper alertness when time seems to slow down during a car accident. The brain is entering a high gamma state, fight or flight. Responses kick in and it only takes one or two repetitions for new skills to get hardwired. Beta brainwaves are the normal day-to-day -day consciousness where competing inputs inhibit learning. Alpha waves promote relaxation, creativity and the absorption of factual information. Theta brainwaves are a state of almost sleeping. Boring presentations take an audience into this space. Factual information is almost impossible to absorb and it can take up to 21 repetitions for it to sink in. So, how does this affect training? Skills training must take learners into the gamma state where positive stress drives permanent learning. But knowledge training is best delivered in the alpha state outside the classroom altogether. Have you ever sat in a workshop that felt like death by PowerPoint? Did it push you and the audience into the theta state, sleepy and resistant to absorbing information? With science on the table, we can understand why sales training that's heavy on theory is designed to fail. We can also, however, do something about it. Sales labs analysts believe the answer is to listen to the experts and turn all knowledge transfer components into self-paced pre-work with flashcards, reading, video and testing that is absorbed in an alpha state this frees up precious and costly classroom time for practicing the application of that knowledge through experiential simulations, role plays, competitions, coaching and tuning in the gamma state 
where lessons etch the deepest. Follow this with a program of spaced reinforcement using video, testing and coaching via the phone or the tablet. So the key question is, does it work? Well, during 2012, Sales Labs re redesigned several offering, uh, offerings to pilot this new approach and customer revenue skyrocketed. As a result, in 2013, all our workshops will adopt this new format. It's time to advance the sales profession beyond last century's limited ideas on how learning really works.